So now that we've got the valve seats in, you can see we've pressed these valve seats in and we've relieved them. We got the, the head leveled. Now we actually have to cut the angles because when these valve seats go in, they're blanks. So what we have to do is we have, you know, we have all our tooling here. We have the bull hog to cut the throat. We got our seat drivers here. We got our seat uh, counterbore cutter. And of course our hardened seats our seat driver, uh, the seat cutter driver. Now we have the valves that are actually going to go in this head. So we're working on that exhaust seat. The way that, that we center that exhaust seat up is we go ahead and we put our valve in this fixture. And we're going to center that fixture right on that valve. Because we have to have a way to locate our tool. So what we do is we take our fixture, make sure you get in on this, and we put our fixture about where we want our valve to seat on that cylinder head. We set it up, we lock it in place, and now we have a pointer basically where we want our valve seat to be when we cut it. Then we're going to remove the valve, and we're going to install the same pilot that we're going to use in the guide on that cylinder head. We're going to install that here on our fixture. And then we have these seat cutters. These seat cutters have multiple angles on them. So we cut multiple angles all at once. And these actually have uh, performance angles on them that are designed for high performance flow. They're already built into that. So we're going to take our seat cutter, install it, and then we're just going to put our seat cutter back onto our pilot and we're going to come right up and we're going to put our 45 degree angle on this seat cutter right at this pointer. And what that's going to do for me, once I get that set, then we're going to, we're going to lock it in place. And now I know exactly where my valve is going to contact that seat and I'm basically duplicating that on my cutter. So I double check that I'm on my 45 and I am. Now we take our cutter body, our spring, and our pilot. We come over to the cylinder head. We're gonna go ahead and pilot our hole again. Make sure you got all the chips off of that. We're gonna pilot our hole. And in this case, we're gonna use a valve spring. Now our cutter is actually set to cut that seat. We're going to actually use a different driver for this. Uh, the driver we use for this is not the same as the driver we use for cutting the other one because we've got to come up and clamp on this head. So this is our driver and it's going to sit right on there and it's going to grab that and turn it. So we got our Morris taper here. We're going to put our driver up into our machine. And of course our air table is going to bring us over. Head's already level, and then we're going to come down. These cutters are designed to cut high speed at high speeds on this hard to see. Now we ran into a little problem here, and that is our pilot is bottoming us out. So in some cases, depending on the head, we have to use a shorter pilot. So we'll go ahead and put our short pilot in, put our spring on, and now we are ready to cut our angles onto that cylinder head. So we're going to turn the spindle speed up, and we're going to go ahead and cut our angles right onto that seat. We just go down until it cleans up. We know we are we already set where we need to be. And the cutter does all the work for us. And once we're done, you can see all the chips that came off here. We have a perfectly cut seat with the correct set of angles. And of course, we're going to double check all that, make sure the width and the location and everything is good. But basically, we're going to go all the way across the head and do that. And so, hopefully, this gives you some insight into what we're doing when we're actually rebuilding these heads. Um, 
There's a lot of tooling involved. There's a lot of skill involved in this. It takes a long time to learn it. But that doesn't mean that you can't understand the fundamentals of it. Even if you don't ever actually do this kind of work, uh, it's important that you understand how it's done, why we do certain things, uh, because, well, for one reason, you can sound like you know what you're talking about, which is a big deal. And the other reason is you can actually know what you are talking about. So until next time, see you later.